Yeah. A little after one or nine, <laughs> nine or two. <laughs> it is a little after one. <laughs> okay, uh, and we're all present with the exception of Maureen. Um, agenda approval. Does anybody like the agenda? <laughs> Can I have a, a uh, motion to approve the agenda? I so move. Thank you. All in favor? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, approval of the last of uh, the previous minutes from October. Um, they really looked good to me, but that was always too. So, anybody have anything to add? They've been through the process and everybody's mm -hmm. looked at them and said, what do they need to say? Okay. I think there's one quick thing, if you can, on um, page, well, I should say, three, please. Page two. Table and chairs and then storage. That's the letter E. Oh. Okay. The little letter didn't show. Oh, yeah. yeah the little uh, letter didn't show. Sorry. Yeah. Um, and then in that third paragraph of, of letter E, was the the siding? This this says the siding on the side of the auto house facing shed. Wasn't that supposed to be the whole auto house? Might be wrong, but I, I don't know why we would repoint just a side of the structure. Yeah. Okay. And um, just say on the auto house. Yeah, yeah. just repointing the auto house. Yeah. And I get rid of facing the shed. Yeah. Um, um, oh, can you back up to letter D? The, the note, the last thing on, in that paragraph. That's just a note that was in the drafting process. I think it doesn't mean to be in the final version. Go ahead, just explain that last note. Yep. Sorry, I'm not, I'm still on. Oh, I can share this with you at this point. Oh. If, I, if you'd like, I can just. Are there more things? Um, just, just one more last question. And, and it's more about on page three. What was the one you just did? The one that we just did. for club affair and I think that got um, interpreted as what was the cost of the dancers because this, the change in here is referring to the dancers for club affair um, and that was that no there, you know everyone was donation based and some donation, donations were taken in the party which is fine that's great that that was what that was and the question that, that I was asking about was really what was the cost of the court because we were talking about trying to reduce the cost of music at um, the art walk, and I remember we had that beautiful quartet that we had um, close there, and I wondered what the cost of that was. So I don't know. If, um, so you're talking about the quartet uh, to play at art walk? Because this is talking about art walk. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Are you, are you, yeah. Are you yeah. talking about the jazz quartet? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. the other, I have. The other part no, of so she, no, you're talking yeah. about the the orchestra that played it. Oh, oh that's right. It it is. Is. I'm sorry, you might be right. It's the one. Okay. It's the quartet that played on the veranda. At yes. Love Affair. Okay. Oh, okay. they're so talking about Art Walk, but I guess for them. you made the suggestion that, that maybe the, well, yeah. that's the symphony orchestra, uh -huh. right? Okay. Yeah, and, yeah, and the symphony <laughs> itself paid the um, two hundred dollars each to do that. So the symphony paid them to do that. Yeah. Because they, they always wonderful. pay their people. Yeah, she, yeah it was uh, a <laughs> fun club affair. We weren't. Yeah. You know, yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. That so was that was my question that I was asking when in the conversation. But oh, somehow, yeah, okay. somehow got mm -hmm. interpreted or, or taken as dancers. And I was asking about the quartet. Okay. Oh, okay. Got so, it. Uh, so that's all. That's it. And yeah, if you want to change that to make it so that it's, or include it. Because I think it's great to have the information about the answers too. That's very nice. Um, just for thinking of our future, trying to do 
Yeah. Okay, so Karen asked about cost for the symphony to play club fair as a suggestion for our walk. Yeah. Okay. Because if it, if it was no cost to us, there we go. If we're, if we're like, yeah. in that situation, there yeah. was no cost. But anyway, that's yeah. like yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Along with the packet here, and I just got this yesterday, so it's not included in the packet. But um, Aurora uh, was, and I don't know her actual title, but she's an ad, ad, administrative analyst. Okay, an administrative okay. analyst. Uh, okay. Yes, and has well for recreation. She works at Memorial Building, okay. um, and uh, has done lots of minutes for several tours over time. Anyway, we asked her to take our minutes from this month and uh, work on kind of making them concise and more simplified, just because we need to work on this as a group in general. Um, Cindy's doing a fantastic job, but it's really not meant to be like a super detailed accounting of every single thing that was discussed during the meeting. It's meant to be an overview of actions taken um, and action steps moving forward. So, uh, so the example here is is Aurora having taken our October minutes and making them more concise and putting them down to just be, you know, a documentation of action is taken. Well, this is so, helpful. yeah, so this is kind of more what the minutes are meant to look like. Uh, and like I said, Cindy's doing a fantastic job. I think in sharing the minutes with everybody, it's gotten, um, it's, it's nice to have everybody take a look at them before the meetings and not have to discuss all of it during the meetings, but it's gotten, there's too much detail being put into the minutes right. in general. So we need to keep it more, more concise. Um, and we have the videos for you know documentation of all of the details that were talked about. And we have backup audio and video now since there's been some issues with the, with the videos. Um, so that should be fine moving forward. But yeah, so I wondered if anybody has any questions about these. I know you haven't had a chance to look at them prior to now, but just to kind of get something you can take home, get a better idea of what minutes should look like and just how they need to be more concise and just focusing on actions taken. So that's Laura it. Is what? She's the administrative analyst. Administrative analyst. Okay. Aurora Black. <clears throat> so she did this for us as an example um, so that our process can tighten up moving forward and, and get to be more concise. Okay. Anybody have anything to add to that? I think we need to have a chance to take a look at it. Yeah. I think, I think it's yeah. a good idea for everyone to be able to take a look at it and compare it to the one that we have. And even, you know, yeah. bring it forward into next year so that um, um, our new board can yeah. discuss it further and, right. and together decide what we want our minutes to include or not include. While this is, is great, that it's obviously I've not seen this until now. Yeah. Um, that it seems like it's more concise. I think um, the unique thing about the Callahan House is that there there is more detail that goes into um, the, the functioning of the house, and so having a written record of it so that it's not lost is helpful, of course. And so that does sometimes include a little bit more detail than what say recreation might or the neighbors say department might um, put the minutes. So we'll just keep it up in mind, I suppose, if we can. Keep it simple, keep it um, um, concise, but uh, make sure that the information is there because I, I can speak from personal experience that when searching for past information in, in minutes, I could not find it. And that was part of in, in grant writing. And so that was a really challenging thing when I could not find the detail of what was on the agenda in minutes. Mm -hmm. so. And that's why we have the videos is so that we do have a record of all of the details. So minutes really are, are meant to be concise and if we're finding consistently that there's something, you know, a little more that we need to include, then that could, you 
know, as you take a look at that. Yeah. But overall, this is, yeah. you know, for the city clerk's office and for the processes for boards, this is what the minutes seem to look like. Yeah. And they need to be more concise. It needs to be an easier process for the secretary um, and for, for all of us involved in getting this put together for each meeting. Can you say so, the city clerk's office does this? This is their yeah. direction. They have directed all all boards, all people taking note minutes to yeah. we've actually gone through training. This is the same so conversation that we had earlier in the year <laughs> after Ben and I went to that training about minutes needing to be a record of actions taken and to be more concise in general. So this is kind of a follow-up to that conversation. Okay. Can we put this on the agenda for next month? Or next month? Well, December? Maybe January. I'm a little concerned about December. It's kind of behind. Stacked. Put it January. January, turn future agenda. Agenda items. Okay, that works for me. <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> may I? Um, yes, one more oh, note oh, about, oh, okay. minutes. Sorry, one more note about minutes is if we are going to continue the process of everybody being able to comment on them after Cindy has put them together, those comments need to come in by the due date that she sets. Right. And anything else after that will not be taken into consideration. Right. Absolutely. And that did happen. More changes than were made by you, and then there was another review, and that was like, okay, I didn't. My changes, my initial changes were put in by the due date, and then I got another draft. Which is Mine were too, that. and I did too. So I think I think you're doing a fabulous job. You're doing amazing. Um, I think the fact that both of your inputs were so intertwined in certain areas that made it a little less. That made it a little harder to yeah. <clears throat> come up with a final uh, something that sort of addressed both both of your issues. It, it would have taken more time to do that, but neither of you knew that the other one was going to have that much input on the same areas. Yeah, that makes sense. So, but I agree. Um, yeah, yeah, and, and I'm, I know. Appreciate deadlines, and that did meet that deadline. So. Yeah, so we'll have to see if, like, the process of everybody being able to get that input is is still working well and moving forward. Maybe I need to give earlier deadlines so that if there is uh, a lot of difference among two people who've edited, there's more time to come to some resolution on it. Well, and I would encourage everybody to review the video because I have reviewed it three times. To yeah. Wow. At these minutes. And I yeah, have not yeah. Right there it says what we talked about. What it, we yeah. About, so. I guess I should be reviewing it every time. If you, I mean, and I only do it for the parts that I need clarification on, you know, but, but yeah, it's a helpful tool. Mm -hmm. So, it is. Okay. Thank okay. you. Now can we have a, a motion to approve the minutes as directed? The minutes as questioned. Just a second. And a second. Second. Okay. It's going to be the two of them. It's not you and me, it's them. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, public invited to be heard. I don't see any public comments. So that's a done deal. Let's move into old business. The digitized scrapbooks deal on old business. Yes. Um, so Rachel and I had a chance to connect about that. Um, she reached out to uh, the state authority on ADA compliance and has not gotten any information back. Um, she also reached out to the city legal, and basically the guidance that they've provided is uh, <laughs> unless there's an issue, they're not going to look further into the situation. So um, I don't. That said, it doesn't seem like we're going to get a lot of information on exactly what needs to happen. So um, the thought is that we move forward with posting the PDFs as they are, mm -hmm. but offer alternative ways for people to engage with the scrapbooks, one of which being inviting people to make an appointment to come to the house and see them in person. Mm -hmm. um, and if people have you know, a visual reason that they can't engage with the scrapbooks, if they can bring someone with them to help them engage, or like a staff member can help them engage with the scrapbooks. The other option that Rachel would like to put forward is to have um, someone, ideally a board member, if someone's willing, to 
go through and create an audio recording of engaging with the scrapbooks um, and reading some of the articles and, and things like that so that there's an audio, like the, the PDFs would serve as a visual way to engage and then have a recording available along with the PDFs online as a as an auditory way to engage. Did you say that would be a board member? Ideally. Ideally. So this is a nice idea. Yeah, I thought it was a great, great, great idea. idea. Well, well, for visual, for visual, visual, visual yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, yes. Yeah. yeah. So at least, and basically, the because the ADA compliance for um, municipal websites and things is so new, there's not really a lot of information out there on these sort of niche projects. And but what it does say is that we've made our best efforts to make it accessible. And so I think if we're offering different avenues in which people can engage with the material, then we are making our best efforts, and hopefully, people would see that and not be upset. And mm -hmm. and giving people the opportunity to reach out if we haven't presented a way for them to engage right. and letting us know what that looks like for them and then that could be something we could work on. Exactly. So if we're just at least like giving out the options, then just we'll, notice that we can accommodate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It just doesn't seem like we're getting anywhere with trying to get specific direction right. on like what exactly needs yeah. to happen. So it, yeah. it's a little bit open to interpretation and this is our interpretation at least uh, to begin with. So I think that said, you know, um, we can move forward with scanning. I, I need to get that. So we have the original, the scan of the first, well, the first, like, old, the, really the old original one. days or whatever it's called, um, right. early days, early right. years. Um, get that to Rachel and see what it, the process is like for her to get that on the website. And then from there, I think we can finally, like, get back to the scanning and, and whatnot. So great. That sounds is great. there any way that... Um, a high school speech or drama student could be enlisted to do this as a, or even a National Honor Society student to get credit or a project. hours. That sounds like a great idea to me. It is a great so idea. Interested. Especially if they, you know, are interested in that, maybe they could spice it up a little bit or, mm -hmm. you know, I'm mm -hmm. just in there. Not just reading it, but yeah, writing right. it. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. Do you know someone? <laughs> I actually, don't you think Kirsten's? Her daughter yeah. could possibly, I mean, she's oh, a yeah. yeah. I mean, I know of somebody and then uh, a route okay. to kind of follow through. So I'll, I'll throw that out there and see Yeah. what might happen. I think that sounds like a great idea. Yeah. So among the drama department students um, are the, um, there's, there's business students at Silver Creek and they have to do a capstone project. This would be really mm -hmm. right up that alley. Also, with the IB program at NIWA, they have to um, have a full on uh, program or something, something that service that they are working on that they do. So, those are two other outlets that you could reach out to NIWA High School and to um, Silver Creek specifically or you, for those reasons. If you know a connection there, yeah. it wouldn't hurt to reach out. Exactly. Just a question. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Happy to do that. And even if is, we get several, they could each take pieces because yeah. there's a lot of information. Yeah. Yeah. Probably would be good to have person. several. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 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 So this would be long on high school okay. that I could have to reach out to. Okay. Drama. Okay. Speech. Okay. Yeah. I can reach out to Nana and Silver Creek. Okay. So, yeah. That's a little ways down the road, but that's yeah. great. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think we might want to be doing that somewhat. So like simultaneously, yeah, yeah, just so that we don't have the PDFs on there and then it's a long time before we have the audio on it. Right. <clears throat> yeah. So, yeah. There is a group that's going around <coughs> the cities and actively looking for EDA website um, problems and oh. pursuing cities. Yeah. Uh, it's usually based on the PDFs. Oh, okay. Good. So, uh, yes. Yeah. It's something. Um, yeah, it's okay. Well, we will be as accommodating as possible, yeah. right? Yeah. So and it could be that we have to go back to the original idea, which is like adding the alt text, you know, typing out the articles and things like that, and having those as alt text with the PDFs. So maybe that, in and addition to the audio and all of these things. Yes, I'm kidding. <laughs> Goodness, I have a student to do that. Right. <laughs> Several students. I know, right? That yeah, so project. Well, maybe yeah. so yeah. I think people reach out for like volunteer opportunities here. Maybe right, right, yes. exactly. Yeah. Right. 
Okay, thank you. Anything else on the digitized scrapbook? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, moving on to the updated video. Um, so we had reached out to see if everybody is available for a review of the most recent draft. Uh, it's the 21st at 10 a.m. So I just want to confirm. I know that's good for Maureen. Just want to confirm if that works for everybody. 24th. Uh, it's the 21st. It's a Tuesday? Next Thursday. Oh, Thursday. Next Thursday. Yeah. Thursday. yeah. So right, this for the video? Yeah, yeah. So review the most recent draft. Yes, I'm sorry. I don't think I did. Sorry, I haven't actually reviewed it yet, but I'll send you that one. You have you sent it to me. I have okay. a tab open. Sorry, I had it open for a few days. Oh, that's right. Okay. Okay. Um. So the twenty first at ten a.m. Does that work for everybody? Sure. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We'll make it work. Thank you. Okay, so that would be a review of the recent draft. And it's in your email, so I, I would suggest if you have time to review it before we get together so that you kind of know what notes you want to bring to the table. But Can we make it 10.30 into 10 a.m.? Sure. I think so if there's any time ready? after 10, sure. it's good for Marie. Okay, so great. Right. That just really helps me. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Absolutely. And that's the only, that's where we're at right now, so that's the only one okay. I have about that. So Good. Good. See Thank you. Review. Yeah. Good. Perfect. Excellent. And we did a lot, what was that, two weeks ago, um, Karen and Maureen came in and did the recording of the voiceovers for the interviews to correct those couple items, and so I imagine those will be, we'll see those included. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Okay. Um, the patrons program. All right. We have... Um, really in, the hand, in the packet, we have the updated um, outline, right? and we have the, both of the letters, the one for a uh, company and organization, the other for individual families, mm -hmm. and um, these were approved by the committee, um, the, the outline and the letters. The other document in here is the pictures of Calvin House donor information form. And that was discussed by the committee. This is how it is in draft based on what our discussion is. So I want to um, see if there's any other change that anyone would have to this donor form. And then, um, and then if we could um, approve or um, documents for to, to move forward with the next steps. I have a couple items in my sanity. Um, so if we can make this a digital process, I think that would be really wonderful. Yeah. 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 So make this a digital, like an online process I'm instead right. of a, a form that people mail in. Um, right. We have to be able to access it online, or Absolutely. they can print it online and mail it if they need to. But the direction, you know, primarily would be to fill it out online. Absolutely, and this is this is just a paper draft, mm -hmm. kind of like um, what the survey for clubs is. Right. So, mm -hmm. so, yeah. this is a, so it's a paper copy. So if somebody wants just a paper copy, they can have this. But the idea was this is the content. If you can put it in an electronic format that would yeah. be great. And then and we should change see. the letter yeah. to to guide people to that. As oh, okay. to, it says like please complete the attached form and send it by US mail. Okay. So we'll just want to change that to please go just to this link and please complete yeah, the, the either complete or print form. the form and if you okay. need to print okay. some mail you can send it to yeah, you can probably just yeah. ask that. Sorry, would you say, please, yeah. just say please complete the, the donor information form. Is that what you're talking about? I think um, adding submit it online, in person, or via mail. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that just adds that in. All right. One thing I just want to mention when I'm referring back to these items in the minutes, I redid the uh, alphabetical chronology here. The it says A B D E H A B. 
Those. Oops. Yep. <laughs> so I so I redid those. Thank you. You can just make it CDFG. So when I refer to it, you'll know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> so I moved it around and forget to. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That is really <laughs> <important>. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Really. I didn't catch that. Yeah. 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 The three options for Peyton's program are online, on paper, in person? Uh, yeah. Online. Okay. Or in person or, or via the USB. USB. So, oh, okay. Yeah, submit it online. So we're just basically um, adding it. Bring it by the house and mail. Yeah. So we're just okay. basically adding the word online in front. So it's correct. correct. Yeah. Okay. Complete the form and submit it okay. online. Thanks. So that begs the question about how we disseminate these letters then. People um, in the past have sent letters to people and then you follow up with a phone call and they say, I saw that what letter. Yeah. Email. Right. So you end up doing both things. But the cost of postage is outrageous. So well, it's going forward, what do we decide to do? It's an excellent point, and maybe um, to that matter, we, email blast. we focus more on, well, we definitely do the email blast, but maybe we focus on when we're gathering um, the, the company data, the information, we try to also include an email whenever possible, um, and so for those who definitely have email, we can use email and send it electronically. For those who don't use email, then the paper copy is a little bit of an answer, and then probably a significant reduction in the postage right. cost. So that's a great point. I, I would say that's probably the best way to do it. Yeah, yeah I agree. You're, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Because mm -hmm. doing both things for everybody is just a exactly. whole. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. unnecessary. I think we have a lot of tangles away. <clears throat> that being said, if the link is, um, you should have the link in the letter if the link it's going to be like Agreed. Yeah, so that's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's 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 true. Yeah. 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 Online app. Yeah. 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 So that the form and it's a link. Well, what's yeah. the option yeah. other than email? Right. Or what what are we gonna do? We'll um we'll focus on email, um email in the letter. You blast for for the group mm -hmm. emails that we've got, but then emails directly to um, companies and organizations okay. and journals. You could say online at whatever the address is. Yeah. And then the only other note slash question that I had was on the um, the company organization letter in the second paragraph. Because as a patron, uh, company organization would be acknowledged in city marketing communications and in any local media coverage. I don't know if that's something that we would promise. Um, we'd like usually for in the Times Call or something like that. I guess if it were pertaining to a specific project yeah, that was funded that was... by a patron, that they would be acknowledged, but I think that's a specific circumstance that kind of hopefully goes without saying. Well, right. That's a good point. So I don't know sure. if we should include that. That kind yeah. of promise. Yeah, to me that says that we're gonna like post an ad on their behalf or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I think just getting rid of the local media cover. I mean in citywide marketing Yes, I mean, if somebody's sponsoring an event, they're going to be acknowledged as a sponsor in our emails, um, and they can be acknowledged on our website and here in the Florida, but I don't think local media coverage is something we should okay. include. So just from the end in any local media coverage. Yeah. Okay. Does that sound okay at all? Sure. Yep. Then you were able. And so then we decided that our um, the basis of our list to send these out would, of course, start with our email blast contacts and then anybody else that we personally I would think can contribute each of us friends family whatever um, and then the Chamber of Commerce with yeah. their list of businesses in the area yeah and I think we said that we could use the recreation constant contact as well if you absolutely separate. okay that's great okay. yeah that's okay. that's okay. Cool. Yeah. So a couple of um, just housekeeping things. Kenny, were you able to reach the Chamber of Commerce contacts, the Scott Cook? I have not yet. Okay. 
if you can reach out to them between your next month, that would be really helpful. Okay. Um, and then another thing we need to ask, we had talked about adding some language um, regarding um, contact your tax advisor in your, your company. Oh, the action tells. So um, can we, two things. I'm, I'm suggesting this, and it's up to you all what you think, that we put that language on this donor information form. That it may be your donation may be tax deductible because contact your tax advisor. But that is that's what we're place for that. Right. Donor, yeah. for it to go on the donor form. So if we can that's all back to the letter. Yeah, and well, we, we are like including the yeah, yeah. letter. He said we are including the tax ID. Yeah, sure. And that yeah, that was the other question I wanted to know because the committee said, can we can we use the tax ID? Can we provide that? And so the question was to be raised to you all. Yeah, yeah, we can talk about that so we can put all that. Excellent. Okay, so that city, the city, um, the tax ID and the language regarding tax advisor yes. can go on this donor information form. Yes. Okay, great. Oh, and, um, and, you're going to, are you going to include, now obviously we haven't talked about the video, I didn't see this in the but we had talked about how we, in the committee meeting, how we could include in the um, closures of the video the big statement of the deepest, appreci deepest appreciation and thanks to donors and patrons of the Calhoun House. I think I sent that to Jamal, but we will double check. Okay. Because that was pretty much just kind of in anticipation of rolling this program out. You, you sent me an email with that exact language, right? Okay. Right. Right. I forwarded that to Jamal. Okay. Let me just, I'll just, just double check. Because yeah. it is kind of forward thinking to capture that in the video now. So now, yeah. Since yeah. this is yeah. pending, yes. it's coming in all the videos. Is it as many as the video is pending? Is it as coming and we want to kind of include it? Right. right. Yeah. And so, with those additions um, and, and corrections, um, um, I move that we uh, approve and accept these, the, the outline, the two letters, and the donor information form with those additions and additions. Right, with the addition. I would say so. Okay. As we I appreciate that. As, as we, yes, with the additions and the corrections. Thank you. <laughs> All those in favor? Did you move? I moved. I can't move. I can't move. Thank you. Oh, we all agree. Yeah. We're all yeah. at the unanimous. So, in terms of the agenda, this is all accepted. So, we just need to work on, I need to work on getting the form created digitally. Um, and are you going to make the edits to these pages? Yes, and also to me. Okay. okay. So I don't think we need to include all of them in the packet again. Sure. But we would probably want to keep the patrons program on here at least through our like initial reach outs. I do. Yeah. yeah. We're not going to talk about yeah. it. Until and it, it, it I may. Yeah. 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 If I may, I would like to ask that going forward with our agenda, that we we list it on the agenda as patrons of the Calhoun. We're going to go forward with this program. Mm -hmm. We need the name known that it's not questioned what it is. Okay. Patrons of the Calhoun House. So going forward on the agenda, this, it will not be patrons program. It will be patrons of the Calhoun House. Sure. So there's way too much to do for all of us between now and the end of the year. Right. Yeah. But did we? We've never really discussed a, like a launch date. No. Um, for this. No. So I'd say maybe if we have a goal of early spring maybe mm -hmm. i think that's um, a great goal late winter early spring that's a great goal because between now and the next couple of months yeah it's, it's unrealistic um, to expect it to happen the next month. well we're going to be information gathering right. and all right. of that and so we're just yeah, going to take a while we're yes. refining yeah. things right. mm -hmm. so. so thank you and thanks for everyone's work and, and contribution in, in this um, 
It's her forte. It's up to the Absolutely. Wonderful. Thank you very much for all you've done. Thank you. Yes. I'm excited about this. I'm so excited about this. Good. Okay, let's move to the next item. I won't put a letter in front of it. Tables and chairs. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that is. <laughs> We're moving on to tables and chairs and event storage. So the storage is built. I don't know if y'all saw it. Oh, it's there. Get back there. Yes. Yes. Oh, nice. Yes. <laughs> it's it's gonna gonna go look at it. <laughs> have to go out there. Yeah, we do. Um, so good. yeah, it's there. The only thing that it's waiting on is its second coat of paint, which is happening tomorrow morning, Friday morning, sometime soon. Uh, I think it's Friday morning. Um, so yeah, and then it's all it's all done. It's all ready for us. So I'm excited about it. I think the color that we chose is great. It kind of just blends in with the sidewalk. <laughs> great. Oh, yeah. Um, so yeah, so that so in terms of the actual storage itself, that is is pretty well good to go. Right. Mine is like, so the second coat of paint. So have you moved things? In? Nothing's okay. in there. Yeah, I'm waiting until no, it's like done. done. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. And then so. So the storage is good, we'll get everything moved over, and then, you know, at some point we can talk about the outhouse, but in regards to all of this, um, the, the other thing that we talked about, and it's in the minutes as part of this, part of the agenda, so is the encamping situation. Um, so behind the new shed now, because they had to have it a little bit further out than they had hoped because of the branches of the plant back there, there's a new space back there now, which is pretty significant. Um, so I think, you know, with the cold weather and stuff, we probably won't have a ton of issues right now. So it's a good time to make some plans to figure out um, how to negate any sort of encampment that might go on back there in the spring. Um, and then that kind of goes along with everything that we looked at for the encampment issues in general, moving the other garden shed, the repointing is all kind of part of this. All part of the yeah, so um, in terms of the garden shed, um, Ben and I did look into moving that back, and unfortunately, that's not a possibility based on the air conditioning unit that's back there, which I imagine is the reason that it's placed where it is in the first place. There's also a slope and yeah. a pad and Right. Multiple reasons. Yeah, it's just not going to work. Not yeah. yeah. So we're not going to be able to move that one back. Um, so the option then is is this looking into some fencing, which we're talking to parks about to get this area fenced off down into the stairwell and and something well, it's, behind yeah. the new shed. Well, it'd be <clears throat> where the trellis ends there. Mm -hmm. They'd be adding a, a similar sort of something that looks right and just extend that out. So that that back can here grow on. be behind the fence, and, okay. and, and while that might even seem more secure in our experience, um, folks who are camping will not go through locked fences, things like that. They don't need yeah. that because they know they'll really be in trouble if they do. Right. Um, so so and as far as the, the, the stairs, right. it, it's a tough one. Um, we we already have the the cyclone fencing there, the metal fencing. So we'd be adding a fair amount more of that, painting it the same color, it would look the same, but it's gonna look a lot more bulky. Don't love it. Yeah. But also the situation we have with folks at the bottom of the stairs is, is really not good. And so it's really don't have a great solution. I have an idea. Rather than build a structure up, why not put a steel grate over the stairwell? Over the entrance to the stairs going down. That lays flat on, that lays, it's a, it'd be still grate, that grating, you know, that, that lays flat over. Like when you have a window well, and you yes, can cover over it. Yeah, she said. But it's a still grate that you, yeah, rather than putting it over a window well so people don't fall down into the window well, this is putting it over stairs. So that people can't go down the stairs. Now, of course, that would, of course, that would mean that it would um, 
it may be a seasonal thing that, I, I, that doesn't sound exciting, I know, but, but maybe that might be a deterrent if it's a seasonal thing and it's removable because obviously you can't have it permanently there. Yeah. No. So that's an option to consider because that might work. Well, I think that, you know, I think it would be yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. we're looking into options. Like that, yeah. yeah, and I think the idea wasn't to necessarily build like a structure up that would be as visible, but it would just be to continue that chain link fencing, right? Yeah, like, around but it's it's gonna thing. it's gonna be it'll be bulky if we yeah. do it that way. And I don't I don't love that by any stretch. So um, I think your idea is possibly sound. Yeah, let's get it's it to We can talk it about it. We can check with Parks about yeah, that. Yeah, we present it as an option. Because right now we're just looking into whether well, we need to secure these areas because they've been a problem. We're not going to attach anything additional to the to the house. So that that makes it doubly hard, especially even if we put a grate down, we've got to make sure we're not, anyway. It's just every time I look at something, there's a problem with it. Yeah. It's a sticky wicket no matter what yeah. you do. But that's a... Yeah, right, right. that's a good idea. Yeah. It's worth looking at, for sure. Thank you. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's where we're at right now, is we need to look at ways to secure those areas. So, yeah. we'll let you know what we come up with as possibilities after talking to the parks. Did Timber reach back out about some of Would you like us to, like, after the meeting or something, get out and just kind of all of our eyes on it and yeah, yeah so you know, my dead generation comes up too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we can we can all be yeah. going yeah. Yeah. on the same shit anyway. Right. Let's see. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. I want you to have an understanding of what we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Some, yeah. Something yeah. needs to happen. So right. okay. um, I have one last yeah. question about the, the storage shed, if that if it's okay. Mm -hmm. and, and it's just related to you're gonna have all of everything moved into it. Will the auto house be available to show for our December I mean, to show that I don't know to, to have a general open. open to include in the December open house events. I would because people have been asking, we can, when can we get in and see the auto house? It's when's the auto house going to be built? All throughout the year, our so open people houses. Have about people that. have a yeah, about mm -hmm. They want to see it. I mean, yeah, there's no reason that they can't see it. It's just there hasn't been much to show, and there still yes. won't be just with the stuff moved out. But that's fine. It's just it doesn't it's hurt just anything for people to look at it. Yeah. Yeah. It's just it's it's so it's as long as we have enough getting into it. Yes. more so, bodies to right. so have somebody in there. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, the one that so was put out there is the one that's in the parlor now. Yeah. And then the little one is upstairs in the room yeah. now. So. So we could use whatever. We could use any, anything. We'll, we'll decide this. Do you all want to decorate it instead of a committee time to do that? You are so welcome. Well, so <laughs> well. <laughs> Brittany, did we bring a, those Mexican um, yep, Christmas fair ornaments? Mm -hmm. There's quite a few of those. With gold ribbons on the other side, I think that would be yeah. easily used. Yeah, there's it. more decor. We just don't have another tree, but mm -hmm. you can want to do a thing. I'll, I'll let you know. We'll that sounds great. Yeah. We'll, 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 we'll get it figured out between now and then. To be considered as we go. Yes. All right. Is there anything else on tables, chairs, and event storage and sheds and stuff? Are you good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just want to add something. No, I can, uh, I can add. Okay, um, let's move on to website and Wikipedia updates. So, is that you? That's me. So I emailed to you. Is that, yeah, well, uh, it's not an email, I have it ready. Right, <laughs> and, and just so you know, it's not something, at least unless you think that it needs to be, a cop the copy is provided and, and to everyone at the next meeting. I thought it was just a, I would be, I was supposed yeah, to be giving those updates to you or making the updates on yep. the website. So all of that has been emailed to Brittany really early, early this morning, technically before the meeting, as I promised. <laughs> technically, <laughs> eight, eight you know, twenty, but oh, it was like one. What was it? One thirty or something oh, in the morning. I was like, okay, <laughs> finally finished. Anyway, lots on my plate, but it's done, and it was just a ton. And if anyone's interested. You want to see what the, what the changes were? I'm happy to share copies wow. with you all. But wow. it, it was a lot that's of little it's stuff lot. that was like, oh shoot, that's wrong. Yeah. Oops, that's wrong. So, yeah. well, thank you for joining. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a lot. lot. It's a lot of work. But, oh, and then with respect with respect to Wikipedia, those are um, some legitimate resources that. Um, on Wikipedia, so I don't see a need to try and um, modify any of that content. That content is directly from those resources, and those resources are like History of Colorado, oh. um, the National um, Historic Register. Uh, so I'm pretty solid resources. Pretty solid. So yeah. I'm like, Ooh, we're not going to touch that. Okay, good. Uh, I think that's a good plan. Yeah. Okay. Anything else on that? No, I think that we can then remove that from agenda. Going forward, mm -hmm. right? Excellent. Okay, the next item is the 2025 garden plans. So, it was requested at last meeting to see the what we submitted to parks last year right. for this year. Right. So that's in the packet after the patrons program, so that you all can see what information was submitted. Um, and then, if anybody has any feedback. For next year, other than what we've talked about, which is we're turning more to the formal aesthetic, which was worked on this year and will continue to be a project over over time. Um, and then the, the central note about trying to plant the fountain lower. Did they get done with the electrical? There, they they've done the trenches yesterday. I saw. So there's still, I think they still need another step or two. Sunday. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, just on this well trip. then they probably were getting close then. I figured they just start because I wasn't here Sunday or Monday, so I figured they were just starting it yesterday. Yeah. But it got delayed because okay. they were waiting on permitting. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, yeah. So um yeah, so this is the information. Um and then I guess based on any of this, if there's additional feedback other than what we've talked about the formal garden and the lower and last year the plan was, and they put in, you know, order to do the sun patients around the fountain and have it all be really low, but right. the order doesn't always yeah. mean that that's what we're going to get. Right. So, um, we were kind we of emphasize to, with them our desire to, yeah. to do that. So we're, we're working towards it. Yeah. 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 And, what they and last year it was, we were lucky to get any flowers around the fountain. And I think it ended up looking really nice. Yeah, it, it was beautiful. It's, yeah. Just, yeah. it's not what we, it's not what we want to have. But the flowers were gorgeous. Right. Oh, yeah. They were yeah. great. The color is pretty. Yeah. 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 They did a good job. Yeah. We want to yeah. have it nice and low. Yeah. The, the centerpieces, the fountains. And they, they get that. It's, yeah. Well, thank you for that. So that's always the effort. Yeah. But yeah. sometimes it could be, you get what you get. Right. <laughs> exactly. So, um, 
Yes, I don't know if there's any other discussion about that or. Okay, anybody else? Okay, we're moving on to holiday decorating. New Santa tree ideas. What? Yeah, so it was uh, brought up in the last meeting that people were interested in changing up the tree that's in the meeting room potentially for next year and having something a little more kid friendly. Um, so, I don't know if you're still interested in that or the ideas that people have. Um, are we? I, I suppose, in keeping with the Victorian you know, era, we should all probably keep our eyes open for things like that that might lend themselves towards that tree. I don't have any particular ones that I mean, my ideas weren't necessarily of that same era. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, but I think that brought up the conversation about having it be a more, you know, more appealing to kids. Um, Somebody, maybe it was Maureen, had the idea about like little wooden toy ornaments, you know. Something More like what they would have had back in the day. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I think the tree looks beautiful. I love how you did it this year. And yeah. So, but if that's something that's of interest, um, we wanted, you know, if we need to purchase items after the holidays or whatever for next year, it's something we can potentially look into. But, or if everybody's good with what there is, I think. Do we want to ask everyone to get away from this meeting and come back to the December meeting, having pondered and thought about what would that look like, and bring back ideas of um, ornaments or whatever, whatever ideas. Bring back your ideas for what that new Santa tree might look like or what might go on the tree. So should we do that? So get that gives well, us early enough to get all the marks out stuff. Oh yeah. Well, I think it, oh yeah, I think it will be our, our next board meeting. Yeah. Yeah. It's really just like the spending yeah. spending yeah. Spending yeah. Spending yeah. Spending yeah. Spending yeah. 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 So, so much to force to get that. Um, oh, no. But, no. Right. Yeah, I meant in time to that after Christmas. After sales. Christmas sales. Which, so we know what and we're they get out there like right yes. away. So, you know, so early work gets the worm. Yeah. yeah. But if we can plan for that, everyone go away from this meeting and come back next month with ideas of what items would be appropriate on that kind of tree. So that that way we can actually together come to an agreement on what, what would it look like. I, and, Staying in mind with a period appropriate, we all need to sort of come to an agreement on what does that look like period appropriate for child friendly. Mm -hmm. So yeah. and yeah. Or, yeah, uh, I think, period I think appropriate. If, if you had some some cool antique toys or period yeah. toys, the like, yeah. rocking yeah. horse, the right, right. old real old fire truck, you know, forties, fifties, they have those things. They're just yeah. they're hard to find. They're yeah. very expensive. But sometimes right. sometimes you'll see remakes like at Hobby right. Lobby and places. Exactly. Where it kinda of keeps our eyes open for it's something kind like of that. Fun. Yeah. For sand stores. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But if we talk about it next at the next meeting, we have an idea what to look for. Yes. After Christmas. Exactly. So when you get it, sales oh, dark 30. Favorite thing to do. <laughs> and then keep in mind, you know, we can, if you see something, we can purchase it with the P card, but if you purchase something, it's a donation. We can't reimburse you. So um, we're happy to get supplies, but it's great. Yeah. Okay. Still used to all the money, right? Yeah. I got supply money. She doesn't. Probably. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe I didn't see well, it. Well, in January. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> okay, so, moving yeah. on. Uh, new business, the future restoration and preservation. Are we redoing our thought process on that? I have one exciting thing to start off with, if I may. And because it is tied to the table and chairs. I found a furniture, antique furniture restoration company in Windsor, and it is called Memory Lane Antiques. 
And I got in touch with Dan Sauce. He's the one who does restoration. He's been in the business for um, over 30 years, restoring furniture, and, and has antiques in his um, shop in Windsor. And he is available and interested in um, giving us an estimate to do the work on the table, the dining room table, and chairs. And that includes the upholstery. Um, uh, I told him I would send him pictures because uh, he asked for pictures of the table and chairs. Mm -hmm. And he will be able to provide an estimate. Um, he can provide pickup and delivery service. So he can come pick up the table and chairs, yeah. restore them, mm -hmm. bring them back. Um, and then uh, he can get started after December. Great. So great. Well, the Quest just going to do this as a project. My understanding yes. is they so are funded. willing to fund it. Yes. And that's uh, at least two chapters of Questers want to uh, work together too. Because they can only supply so many funds. But yeah. if they can get multiple chapters together, that would be more better. Nice. Very exciting. Yeah. Very good. Very exciting. Two pounds a month. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That's a hard yeah. search. There was yeah. new yeah. furniture restoration was only the one suggested, and they're out of business, and Anne and Louise didn't have anything. And Kevin was struggling to fight like it was, yeah, it's been yeah. <laughs> a lot of dead ends. So, thank you for so excited about this, but creating a path there. Um, the project list was included in our packet, so yeah, I just was wondering where we are with that. Is this look pretty complete to everybody? It's I been updated through. throughout the year, yeah, um, yes, I noticed it's updated. Yeah, and then some updates in terms of the restoration that's been kind of ongoing, some of the interior stuff upstairs. Kevin from Empire right now is working on a quote. We had somebody out a week or two ago, um, and they're putting together a quote for restoration of the upstairs woodwork um, that's all really needs help up there, um, specifically on the second floor, like the baseboards and, right. and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then he's still working on a plan for the wall sconce in the meeting room. Um, some of these little projects take more time for them because they're kind of focused on bigger stuff, but we appreciate them, you know. Kevin moves at the speed of tectonic plates. Yes. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> uh, <laughs> question. Yeah. Um, can, can. Is, it, <laughs> is it possible to consider reaching out to other contractors? Like, for example, um, Spectrum general contractors and White Construction Group were two general contractors that were had historic preservation restoration experience, and we were included. We included them in the grant application as possible um, general contractors for the projects. They they would still be in the know for their subcontractors of who can do these kinds of things. And depending on how busy you know anyone is, some another another contractor might be able to get to it. Too. Yeah, and especially if um, the cost of any project is over ten thousand dollars, then we need to get multiple quotes. Um, so it's always helpful to have other other folks. Yeah, other eyes on it. Yeah, and yeah. Like, I know the names are in the previous. But what were they? Spectrum oh, like General that. Contractors and White Construction Group. Are excellent, and um, History Colorado knows them well, also. Cool. So, that's the other one I want to share with you is Watkins Stained Glass Studio. That was the other piece, yeah. yeah I really highly recommend them. The, their bid to replace this curved, uh, but it, um, glass, built by the glass in the library, was. You'll look back at the application, uh, at the um, um, out, yeah, the grant application. Mm -hmm. um, their bid was by far the lowest, but they have by far the greatest amount of experience in leaded glass and stained glass. And so, I highly recommend them for the, especially for any other glass work that we might need. But especially yeah, as we're looking at this glass, yeah. yes. and these like those those stained glass pieces that are on Empire's radar also, but we can get multiple quotes. What can stained glass? I don't know. If they're in Denver, they do work on all kinds of historic buildings. They've done work on the state capitol. Um, they've been they've been in this business business for generations. The 
this have been so impressive. They they would be excellent to have um, come and take a look at and, and give a bit to restore and, and um, do any repair that's necessary to the stained glass. And, but that, well, the stained glass and the lead glass pieces in those, mm -hmm. um, both the one at the back door and the one at the um, stairway. Yeah. So, um, Great, thank you for that information. Um, so yeah, we can get multiple quotes for whatever projects we're interested in. And then other than the table, um, the upstairs woodwork, the stained glass, I think that's probably enough to be working on at one point, but there are there any other big projects that people want to kind of make a primary focus for 2025 at this point? What about the buffets? I think that's, yeah, all part of. It, that's part of yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. It can be. I only this talked one to him about the table sure. I don't know. I'm about sure that one. he would be Might capable be much, of, but. of doing those too. Yeah. As far as the questions are concerned, were they talking about? They're talking about the dining. We've been talking about the dining, dining set. So wow, yeah. that's, that's, that's wow. Right. Yes. And you know they'll that's raise as much as they can raise. They might not necessarily be able to, but they have been looking for quotes so that they know, you know, how much they yeah. yeah. Yeah, we'll have to correspond with him. Yeah, get some information. If you'd yeah. like, I'll take pictures of the buffets as well so sure. that I can include them mm -hmm. in the Yeah, I don't know that yeah. that one will need anything necessarily, but it's worth just double checking, I guess. Yeah, that's one for sure. Yeah. 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 And we can also invite him to come out to yeah. take a look. Absolutely. Yeah, of course. He does like to come into Walmart, so yeah. I think it'd be too much of an ask to stop him. He's going to be needed. Okay. All right. yes. So we're good with those being kind of the, those are the, the focus right now. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that is pressing in your mind on here that is, you know, if we don't do this, you know, the, the integrity of the historic piece is in danger? Um, you think? The only other thing that we were going to talk about, and in terms, especially if this table is getting moved out to be restored at some point, is the floor underneath it um, mm -hmm. needs some work. And then we've been talking about what to do about the parquet floors in general. They've been waxed several times over time. I don't know if we want to continue to keep waxing them or um, is that just kind of like coating all of the imperfections and whatnot that are there? Or if we want to look at getting those restored at some point or maybe that's a future project. Have they ever been restored? Uh, probably not. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. But Would underneath, you like, like in the middle, the middle underneath here, has they have not restored that. That's good news because then it's it's easy to sand and do it as far as yeah. it goes. Exactly. There's still a lot the specific folks to do that, but yeah. Um, yeah. So, but if they've been sanded a couple times, then right? Would you like us all then to um, as a takeaway from this, and then just food for thought between now and the next meeting, or even in January? It can be put off to January. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone come back. You know, do do a little searching and see if we can individually find some experts who really know what they're doing with this type of floor that that could come and take a look at it and give us their opinion about what to do with it, and how to how to treat it. Or yeah, and that was how it. this came to be. Is I was looking for somebody to clean the carpets and the upholstery and do the tile, and so we had somebody come in those and then they recommended someone to come look at the floors and that person instead of continuing to wax them recommended to have it recommended having them you know restored but and has done this sort of restoration so it's at least one potential yeah. quote but right. I it would be good to get more yeah. opinions on something like that yeah. so um we have um we um, do we have a cost? And, uh, and this is going to the point to get the price. We, we were needing to get what the estimated cost is, more current, I guess, estimated cost on yeah, repointing the bricks. And that ties into, all right, where are we going with our major? Um, well, I think, I think our, our thoughts may have changed on that. Um, based on input of you're going to repair spots that are needed yeah. as opposed to the whole thing. And yeah. it's actually a lot less. So 
yeah, Kevin's from Empire's input was that we, yeah, that we wouldn't do we every bit, that it every would bit. not be good for the integrity of the structure to do every bit. We just want to do the pieces that need done, because there's no point in pulling the bricks out and redoing the mortar in areas where you don't need to. So I think it was 11 something. It was, it was money that we could do. Yeah, to yeah. do what he so thought. It's a very different sort of project. Wow. Than what we imagined it to be. Yeah. Can we get a second and maybe third opinion from maybe the two other contractors? Well, I have, have to, to since, it, yeah. it, since yes. it's over 10 grand, we need to get three books. So if we can reach out to each of them also to. Yeah, we'll make sure that I really that's think their that's, opinion too. Yes, yeah, that's their yeah. opinion. And if so, that would be wonderful news. Yeah, yeah it would be. Absolutely. Because that's something we just would just do it. What a concept. What a great idea. I thought we had like that. I'll make yeah. Harold Pickle the pull that off the CFP. So. Right. Yeah. I guess what we do that with. Yeah. Okay. That's very exciting. Yes. Cool. Great. Excellent. That's everything about. Do you think you'll be able to get the updated estimates by December, or is that agenda? I can reach out to people right away, depending on when they can come out and make a follow-up. That's right. That's what right. I'm going to say right now. Right. So maybe we can just put it on the list of agenda. Well, I think. Follow up, um, restoration preservation will go into old business right. until we have some idea about where we're going with these projects. Right, but just to be able to um, be acting, yeah, be able to be more informed as soon as we can be about what all three contractors. Yeah, I'll doing. reach out to people as soon as I can, and when they get the information back, is yes. we'll have it at okay. okay, but that is you, you'll look into that. Yeah, perfect. Okay, anything else on future restoration? Are we good? Uh, the December open houses on the 6th and the 12th. Um, They're on my calendar. Yeah. So, let's see, Santa is from 3.30 to 7.30, so I think if y'all are here, you know, 3.15-ish. Um, and registration for that opens on the 25th, which is not this Monday, but next Monday. That was so it's two weeks for people to register. That was what we did last year, and I expect it to fill up like it always does. Yeah, so um, we haven't really been advertising for it because it's, not it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna just fill up. So, yeah, um, and then the uh, the regular open house is the 12th from 4 30 to 7 30. So that's been the same time frame that we've done the rest of the open houses this year. So the Santa one is um, the regular the open house, uh, 4 30 to 7 30. Most year 4 15. Uh, yes, please. And um, yeah, that's just the regular, regular holiday decor open house, no registration for that one. Um, I did have someone, a pianist, reach out um, to ask if we were interested in them playing piano for during the open house. Um, she said she would charge a rate of $100 just total for the evening. Wow. Um, last year, the donations that we made at that event were $225. However, that was after there was 400 people there, and that was after the article in the Times called about the restoration. So we don't expect that many people this year. So if we had, let's say, half of that amount of people, then the donations that we make might go to cover the pianist. So I don't know if we want to we're interested in that or not. Surely it would be nice. That's a great idea. But yes. I'd say we earmark that hundred dollars out of the cash donations, and if we can. Yeah. Okay. Who do you think, Candy? Let it go. Um, it's a self-guided tour, so we're right. not expected to be talking to a group necessarily. And that's the key to me. That's so yeah. that would be the key, whether or not we because are yeah. talking over. Yeah. Correct. Right. Well, and maybe we have people st- like if she's playing here, maybe we have people stations just in other places. other areas, yeah. and if you're in here, you're enjoying music, and if you're in other places, you're talking about. The features of the house, yeah. or questions, whatever. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think it was a very reasonable rate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very. yeah. So, yeah. Love it. And she said originally she quoted 125 but then she got booked for something, I think, at Hover Home. So then oh, she okay. has to come 15 minutes later or something. So she said 100 Sounds <laughs> like, great. Okay. Sure. So I said I'd bring it to the group today and get back to her and let her know. But I thought it sounded nice. I think we should not write it down. 
Okay. But Never it's mind. in my email. Yeah. <laughs> I think we can do it. So I'll move that we. She might do some nice old yeah, ones. There. You oh, know, she's owning green sleeves and yeah. not yet old. Yeah. So I'll move that we hire, or, or I go ahead and hire the, the piano player for the $100 for the um, second house. You don't need to vote. That's not what you need to vote. So we're just going to spend the money? Okay. Okay. That's all right. Okay. I, I'm I mean, saying, you are. I'll I mean, we'll all be in agreement. Yes. It looks You'll like we'll all be in agreement. Yes. So I don't think Since it's everybody is in agreement. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. It's Do we need agreement. to set her up as a vendor and pay her that way? Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Okay. That's everything yeah. on the open yeah. houses. Here's the donations. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I have. I have a quick question regarding the Santa open house. Um, I know that. In some years, people prefer certain rooms to, to stay in, to, to be in. And other times, people will say, I'd like to kind of rotate around the rooms. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you all would like to do, but maybe we should talk about that and kind of get that understood before December. So yes, that's yes. coming up. Yeah. I, I, I am flexible and can go anywhere and do anything. Do you all have a preference of which room you'd like to be in or do what, what you want to do? I'm willing to rotate. Rotate. I'm willing to rotate. Rotate? Sure. So let's let's mm -hmm. plan that we'll all just rotate. We yeah, can start we can pick up yeah, we can right. pick a room to start with uh -huh. and we'll just rotate what halfway through or you know, whatever feels kinda of natural and we'll just kinda of okay, that's and quite frankly it's fun to be upstairs at least for a short period of time. When the kids are meeting yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay, so we're we talking about for both you wanna rotate then? Because for the Santa Open House, it's less of people wandering through the house and getting information yes, as it is like yeah, that's true. right yeah. working through the procedure of the event and having people kind of take uh, well, the jobs. I was, right. I was definitely um, speaking about the Santa only Santa. because everybody does like to have yeah. an opportunity to go up and kind of observe that. Yeah. Um, but we can definitely address both the Santa and just the regular Open House. Should we rotate both? Do you all. all. That's fine. Whatever, whatever works out. Sounds good. We'll we'll rotate. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Right. Okay. Yeah. How, and long, then, how long does Santa last? Santa is three thirty to seven thirty, and the twelve regular open houses four thirty to seven thirty. And you know, I know you're really good about taking care of identifying how many um, guests we have in the house in the first hour, second hour, third hour. Yeah. And and while that that will definitely be interesting for um, the twelfth. We're not going to have any problem with the drop off in the latter hours of, uh, no, of the six. No, <laughs> we always have that drop off in, right. in attendees yeah. in, in the, right, the last yeah. hour. That's not going to be a problem with Santa. Yeah. <laughs> so, 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 do you have to do your colored tickets? No, we don't do anymore. that anymore. Okay. And then, do we also still provide something upstairs for the kids to? We had coloring pages out on the tables and stuff before. Are we doing that? Yeah, we're we're doing we stopped doing that. Yeah, because it's appointment-based. And I so think, kind of yeah, they, they go right. So so what they did last it. year is, you know, they checked in at the front. We had people wait in the parlor or the music room. And then I would call them when it was their time. They'd get taken upstairs. Um, I think, if I can, can I try to explain the process so that, because I think there's some, some steps that you're missing that you don't mean to. But, yes, people are checking in. They come, come in into the foyer, they are checking in there, they're led to the parlor, where the person who's in the parlor, the, the board member in the parlor, will share some information about um, the parlor with them while they're waiting there. And then they'll rotate um, to uh, the, the music room, and then they'll rotate to the library. And um, the, the, when, when the person's called, it works really well this way, because whenever the, the Santa is available, then we're, we're coming to call the person who is in the library because that's kind of the, you know, they're, they're know getting ready, but they go, they, 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 yeah, they have been. And they go upstairs, in this they go upstairs yeah, into the bride's room the and then yeah. into the yeah. main. Yeah. So it's worked really well that way because it keeps numbers low in each room. And I know it is by appointment. That they come in. Yeah, they do bunch up. Yes, yeah. and so that works really well. So if we can keep with that process, it, it and of course we can be flexible as needed. I mean, people are, you know, not coming in waves like they typically are, and they're just coming on an appointment time. Then maybe they're just getting through, you know, one or two rooms. Out here. 
all the upstairs, but it works nicely. So as I recall, there, there was a a dad who was trying to entertain his son, and they were doing like a little scavenger hunt kind of thing, spur the moment thought. Because there were some kids like that that needed to be, they, they were yeah. still waiting, even though it went a lot faster than it used to, but they were still in the process of waiting in these different and maybe so, there can be a little activity on the table in each room down here, which sort of keeps them occupied until they get Yeah, upstairs. like maybe little puzzles, just small. I mean, it's an option if you want to do that. I think that what I found that has been interesting and, and kind of um, exciting is that the kids have been, as long as they have something to be looking at and it's and it's a look no touch kind of thing and they understand it. but as long as they have something to be looking at and they're told something they're listening they're paying attention and if you ask them here any questions they come up with the most amazing thoughtful questions so they're learning something as they're going through the rooms they don't necessarily need an activity like what they would receive at the recreation center well that's center. that's what i started off with what yeah. this dad was doing was yeah. like a scavenger hunt like, what, what do you is, see in this room how yes. many Books did you count in the bookcase? And, and maybe if we were armed with those kind of questions on our own to start with, that that would be something that the kids would engage more with. That would be fun. Yeah, there are some kids who would with that. Yeah, we, yeah. Stimulate questions. Yeah, I think yeah. there was a week of long of long maybe 20 minutes or so last year, but like in the thick of it, even though we had, you know, reservation times and mm -hmm. it's something stacked up. But. It it's works. Great yeah. It, yeah. It, it is great idea. So as we're stationed in whatever room we're in, you know, along with the room details that you'll have in the docent's guide, you can pick and choose whatever fun fact you'd like to point out mm -hmm. to the kids in that room. Somebody was counting something in the wood. I forget what it was, but <laughs> that kind of thing. Like finding the tree, like this, yes. I don't know, how many trees are in the house, blah, blah. Yeah. 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 yeah, I need anything to help. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and it promotes that educational house too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Um. So that all said, Karen, last year you were kind of the the runner of <laughs> taking groups yeah. up and down the stairs. Yeah. If we're going to rotate, I think it might. What we could do is have um, somebody stationed, you know, here and upstairs, right? Um. Because you know, just to kind of send people so that the stairs are only being yeah. utilized by that one. Right. Group that's, that's being invited up at the time, right? Um, but so that you know, you don't have to run up and down the stairs, we'll just have somebody yeah. at the top and the bottom that's you know, sending and receiving the groups that are supposed to be yeah. going up like at the time, yeah. okay. so that people aren't just running up the stairs, they aren't invited up yet for their time slot, right? right. Okay. So, do you suggest anyone in particular to be doing the no, I think the whoever wants to, if we're going to rotate, I think it'll be. Multiple people. I'm just not going to run down. No, well, that's right. Okay. Yeah, that's why I'm yeah. suggesting that we just oh, have well, somebody on top of the bottom. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, staff wise, obviously the board members will be here. That's five. Um, do you want. We're us and then to I think it's myself any and the prior board members Jacqueline. if they're interested. Yourself in and Jacqueline. Yeah. Because okay, we're, so we're providing two staff. Okay. We don't really need more than that. Would you be open um, to and would you like to invite past board members to come? Assist with being a docent for for that. Do we need them? Mm -hmm. I don't think it's needed, but it's well, more. Maybe we're going to be going to be seven of us. Three, yeah, five four. five board members plus Jacqueline and myself. Mm -hmm. That should be. Enough. Should be enough. I think. Yeah. Like, and we're not going to have the eye house open for the Santa one. Right. It would just be for as well. So okay. yeah. I think we're good. Okay. But. Okay. But maybe, maybe for the um, regular open house, have uh, an extra board member, a past board member or two, because if we're going to have the open house open, the more the merrier. Has someone expressed interest that they want to be part of that? You know, if if I reach out to Connie Newman, for example, she's uh, she's wonderful, um, and if she's available, she's usually interested in, in coming in and helping the docent because it's. It's just, it's just in her. She's and she's wonderful about it, and she's well versed. So she's all of this. 
Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's any. So there wouldn't be any reason to bring we got to. Yeah. yeah, I think we, you know, if she can or whatever, we're struggling oh, for yeah. people. I'm, but. Just, like, I'm just thinking because I'm thinking forward about, yeah, if we can. Sure, if she's out. expressed interest, yeah, she's more than welcome. Absolutely. I'll get you the two M's, right? M. M. Yes. I'll get you the Okay, uh, we're moving on to the years and or event. Oh, sorry, Karen. I just wanted to um, the Times Call did reach out and they are advertising the event. So, oh, probably not in the same way that it was last year with the restoration and all. Right, but right. Okay, anyway, sorry. So, no problem. Good, good. That's good to know. Yeah. Okay, now we're moving on to C. Year in board, thank you, event. Um, so in the past we've done the luncheon, um, which has been very nice, uh, but we want to pivot this year and do, I think, a tea for the year-end event. Um, and so we just need to talk about a date for that that works for everybody and if you all want to do the um, ornament exchange again or how that works. So yeah, I think we we're thinking more of like an afternoon tea type of event. So, nice. rather than that, Peter, should that work for sure. everyone? Yes. Great. We should definitely do that. Um, do, do we want that to be December? Does January work better for people? What, what, what I think December it? is better because if anyone wants to do an ornament exchange, we can do that. And oh, sure. Stuff. It's oh, fun. That's true. It's yeah. fun. It's just... Okay. Are there... I think... Just, yeah, what what was good for everybody in terms of the house? Usually, anything but Wednesdays is mostly good. Um, you have you know a few clubs on other days here and there, but right. Um, and then do we want to be so that you know the open houses are the sixth and twelfth? Do we want to look at the following week or keep it earlier to avoid people being gone for the holidays? This is a kind of a thing to throw out. How about is a Monday? Uh, is a Monday good? Like yeah, maybe Monday the ninth. Usually, because then I'll right up then after the Santa open house, and that would be fun to just chat and talk about and how cute the kids were and whatever, and, and just enjoy. The house is open yeah. for an afternoon tea time. I have a walkthrough in the morning that should be done by ten thirty. But if we're doing like a traditional tea time. At one o'clock or noon or whatever. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. That would be nice. Okay. Can we plan for that? Yeah. On the ninth. On the ninth. Yeah. What What time is good? Like. Whenever in the afternoon is good for the house. What for you? For you. Um. Yeah. Noon or one. If one is better, we would do that. One. Okay. Yeah. One to three. Sure. Does anybody have, I don't know this report, does anybody have dietary restrictions? Okay. Okay. And if everyone, if everyone just wants to, if you want to do an ornament, ornament exchange, then bring, bring one. one. Do we wrap them? Do we still wrap them or do we do this? Oh, I think they're they got wrapped. wrapped. So they stay wrapped, wrapped so they're enticing. So bring an ornament wrapped, and if you don't want to participate, don't bother, oh, yeah. it'll be fine. And what was the monetary? Oh, what do you think it should be? I think it was like fifteen dollars something last year. Twenty twenty dollars. It was fifteen. 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 Yeah, I think that's good for an ornament. You can't find one for much less than it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So, okay. I'll send it out out an invite. And last year it was liaison staff and board. Yeah. Is that okay? It's great. Cool. Yeah, that looks great. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, we are all the way down to D, the 2024 annual report. I did Yay. some work on it. It's, it's, up, it's this is the rough draft. Wow, look at that. Of course, I don't have all the year end information. We'll have to wait to get all of that. But I would like to have you just look over um, <laughs> the overview and the events. I just kind of kept with the same format that we used last time. Maintenance, um, you and I can talk about that, I guess, if, if we need to yeah, sit down or the morning, whatever or that. But um, just kind of look it over and redline it or purple line it, whatever color you want to use. 
and um, kind of get it back to me maybe next meeting. Sounds good. If there's some changes and edits and additions and corrections, we'll go from there. At least I have a working document. Excellent. That's, yeah. that's the important Thank you. I don't have anything Thank else to report on it but that. So, here we go. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Karen. Okay, we're moving on to new member recommendations to the council for 2025. Right. I was so excited. We had five. It is very wow. exciting. Yeah, very it's very exciting. <laughs> um, yeah, actually, we did have one no-show, so really, oh, okay. there were five applications, but one no-show for, oh, for nice. interviews. So, uh, but Maureen and Karen and Ben and Kristen and I took part in the okay, interview nice. process. Great. Um, so we do have three recommendations to make for council, um, and it is meant to be discussed at this meeting. Okay. Um, so, yeah, our, our recommendations, um, and this was... Uh, we had you know four great candidates, but we had to choose three. There are three right. positions open, and the terms are for there are two three-year terms available and one one-year term available. Oh, okay. So we're making a recommendation um, for those terms as well. Um, so for a three-year term, we recommend Jeff Gallagher. Um, for another three-year term, we recommend Julia Brown, and for the one-year term, we recommend Diana Lasik. Um, so I guess at this point we just need to ask if the board is good to move forward with the recommendations of the committee and if so then we'll make those recommendations to council. Ultimately council will they'll interview all of our uh, will they'll interview all of the candidates um, and then you know they make the final decision. Mm -hmm. So yeah. It's unlikely to take it's unlikely to think. And again, our, our other candidate was great. Yeah. She, she went yes. out. We would totally welcome her in. Yeah. Um, and hopefully she'll reapply when we have another one. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I move that we. That's not my decision. Yes, it is. I move that we <laughs> accept the recommendations of the interview committee. I second that. All right, and then we'll make those recommendations to council. And anybody have any oh, yes. no, yeah. no discussion, not yes. unanimously. Is that right? We're good. You have a okay. complaint, you better raise it. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. I think okay. they're doing, council's doing second round interviews on December 14th. Um, and then, you know, obviously the folks uh, that are joining will be here in January. Right. So do they know, will they know? Well, they will, because they have to go through the second round. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it'll be shortly after that. They'll be notified probably the next week. Right? Yeah. yeah. I'm sure pretty quick they try to get that done. Yeah. And I think we're all pretty excited we're getting that guy. Cool. Yeah. 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 That's, that's awesome. That would be the first that's male wonderful. board member at Counting House this is ever. So, yeah. yeah. Record setting. Yeah, record setting. <laughs> it's historic. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It's pretty cool. So, um, yeah. Okay. I think we're moving on to. Item seven. Items from staff. Um, so it was requested last month to include the previous financial reports for 2024. Mm -hmm. So Sandra was kind enough to fill in some gaps there and get us all of those up through September. Okay. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Well, thanks to her. That was yeah. Yeah. Thank you. yeah. So we've got everything here through September. So that's all provided to you for your review um, and then moving forward to the next quarterly report the full manager's report will be January and then that will have the um, the financials for October November December at that point so and then after that we're kind of planning to share them as they're available I mean ideally it might kind of coincide with the quarterly reports but otherwise they'll be shared as available so um, we will be going through a little bit of a transfer. The standard is moving up, so we will have somebody new. I, I think it will be Sarah Del Val. Okay. But I don't know that. Um, so if we if we see a couple of hiccups next year, that's why. Yeah. Sandra Sandra's amazing. She's Grace Malloy is moving into Jim Golden's position. He's retiring after forty five wow. years. Wow. Is. And uh Teresa's amazing. Sandra's amazing. We're excited for her. It's really good for us. And then I have a relationship with Sandra, so I feel like we're 
Most that people would her. say that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 She's yeah. helping yeah. us get through the end of the year. Again. Yeah. Us, not not Kelly and Kelly, but nobody else. Yeah. Oh, that's good news. Okay. Yeah. Anybody have questions on that? Okay. I oh. from. Oh, sorry. Okay. Um, the uh, murder mystery survey oh, yeah, yeah, is yeah. in here. Just if you want to take a look, yeah. but overall, yeah, great. Yeah, very yeah. good yeah. Uh, feedback. Everybody was really happy with the event. The only real criticism was about food, which is a major bummer because we had it full service catered. So it was unfortunate oh. to hear that that was not oh. exactly up to par. Um, and it didn't just provide that information back to catering. It was sort of there. Future knowledge, it was our you know our normal caterer and so and we've never had that issue before, but the caterer. service was good. They said the service was good, but the food was just like it's okay. And for the price of the event, people were expecting a little more. Um it was a so great point. It's our typical caterer. They've always just great done a great job. So anyway, I provided that uh, that feedback back to the caterer and they were happy to not happy, but they were grateful the feedback was shared. Um, so, but otherwise, the event was was had excellent feedback. People seemed to have a really good time, and so. Do we? Let's table that. We're still working on. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um. So yeah, overall good feedback. It was sold out. Unfortunately, we had a couple no shows, but they don't get a they don't get a refund. Yeah. So, no. So. Right. And I told everybody that if you can't make it, to let me know because you can get people off the wait list. And, right. uh, anyway, but yeah, and we had somebody from recreation join, and so I got to get kind of some more insight from her, and it seemed like they had a really good time. So yeah. Yeah. people dress up and oh, so cool. fun! So, yeah. Thank you for putting that together. It was fun. Yeah, yeah it was a great cool event. So yeah. Brittany, it's a nice little idea. Yeah, thank you for yeah. what you're coming up with. Yeah, yeah, I know. Just I was just pleasantly. I was just pleased that it sold out and everybody had a good time. Right. So, yeah. That's, yeah. that's the goal. And the um, net profit for that event was 700 and some dollars. So wow. not a ton, but that's you know, okay. it's that's, that's a good amount of money. Yeah, it was yeah. more than I expected. Yes. Yeah. 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 So, that's you know, and that, so yeah, we made a little something on it and people had a good time and right. new way to get people in the house. So that's exactly. Cool. That's great. Yeah. So, yeah. How fun. <laughs> Brittany, are you going to speak about the um, oh the banner? Yeah, yeah, thank you. There's lots yeah. of in here. Oh yeah, I um, yeah, thanks. So these are what we talked about at the last meeting. Uh, well, we, we were talking about the engagement season marketing push, which Rachel and I are working on. Um, and then in regard to that, uh, Marie had the idea to create just a regular public event banner that can be used for multiple events. Mm -hmm. So Rachel came out and we looked at some locations for for the banner and she put together a few ideas. Um, so this which are in the packet here. And the photo is showing, because we, we were thinking it would go on the fence, like on Terry Street, um, but did not realize when we were thinking about how short the fence really is. Yeah, it's <laughs> really, really short. Really short. So the idea then is to have a hanging banner that goes, that hangs vertically, um, instead of horizontally on the posts. This one is on third and Terry, so it could be on both sides. And then cool. potentially another one on, because there's one right by the gate out here on third, mm -hmm. um, kind of directing people. Because for large events, we want, we're gonna close that and have people come right. through the one gate so we can count them. Yeah. Um, so that's the idea is that they would just be on a string that can just hang over the post mm -hmm. so that nothing has to be attached or Anything like that, and in terms of defense, that's kind of the option for where to put things. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I was look thank you for this, and yeah, it's nice that Rachel is telling. I was looking as I was driving up because I come um, north on um, Terry Street, and so at that intersection, that's really small that pillar, and to have. And I was trying to envision um, what, what you have here as, as an example. And, and I thought, I, I don't know that that's going to be the, I really don't know that that's going to be the location. And I also don't think that that's going to be the right size. And I do think, although, you know, we did talk about a landscape, I still think a landscape one, even though it may be shorter to the ground, it can hang on 
the um, fence on uh, Terra Street and another on Third, um, and go all the way to the ground. So it can just, uh, and, and I think people will, maybe we can come up with an example. We can take some butcher paper and go out there and take a look and see, all right, how would this look? Mm -hmm. and, and put some, a slide, a big slab of butcher paper on the, on the fence versus going and, and looking at the pillar. Um, because I don't even know the size of these um, proposed banners, but already just looking at it in my car and driving up this way, there are people are going to miss that. It's, it, it's, it's only one location and it is a sliver and it is at a busy intersection. So I think we'll get more eyes on banners if it's on the street, the third street and on the terrace street rather than at the corner and the intersection. So can we maybe consider- How are you proposing that they would hang? Um, not, um, this is like you know, portrait style, but um, rather than vertical, but landscape, but um, horizontal. But they would hang um, on the tops of um, a high point of the. Oh, sorry, I don't know. The high point of the fence is about a foot tall. Unless you're talking about like. It's, a, it's huh? taller than a foot off the ground. I mean, the. the, the, um, the there's really nowhere to hang them on the fence other than on these pillars. So the only other idea then if we wanted them to be horizontal would be to stake them into the ground. Mm -hmm. Well, that might be an option. We almost too. have to do that. I yeah. can speak to that a little bit, having put up those sidewalk sandwich boards, sandwich boards yeah. um, out there on the corner. And it's just not a good place. Yeah. It, the traffic is so busy and it's yeah. going every which direction. It's, and it's, um, it's tough. Yeah. So. Yeah, well, that was what I thought here because this pillar is on third interior, so you get one on both sides. Uh -huh. And they're actually, I mean, if you look at it, they're actually going to be pretty wide. Yeah, it's but just, yeah, then you're still, then you're still bringing it down to one location. Um, I don't know, I've got a measurement somewhere. It's not real tall. It's tall, I mean, it's over my head. Oh, okay, well, I would have to get on a step stool to get up and <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. just okay. bringing it down to one yeah. location, one viewing location versus two. Already a and segment of two. And, uh, it, uh, yeah, I two banners. Do, no, no, three banners. Yeah. Two here, one over here. Yeah. And you could put one over here, too. Yeah, you could do four. I mean, these are cheap. I was just going to say, is that the price yeah, of one? Really that is, that is, yeah. You could definitely get a handful. Right. I would recommend doing this because it's very inexpensive and we can have an immediate impact. But I would, I would think about. Um, finding a spot to permanently put in a couple of posts that's find something that's not doesn't stick out that we could have put in in black and and then we could permanently put some not permanently but the posts would be permanent hopefully not visible we could throw a bigger banner up mm -hmm. at that point that would that's how i'm thinking because okay. these are almost i would put them here and there and, and then you have to have a permit to for the city to put up this kind of signage, and it's mm -hmm. like so it's quarterly. So yeah. within a quarter, you can have it up for thirty days. Although they only want it up for thirty days, they kind of said nobody's really. Well, nobody's watching. Yeah, mm -hmm. but but well, you're only putting up these so flags for so so a quarter. Events. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, these would be yeah. So we're, but the engagement ones, you sure, would like yeah, to yeah. have up longer. Yeah. But yeah, these would be like for the day. Right. For right. Event. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, I think you're right. I think they're, they're inexpensive enough that we can try it. Let's try it. And, and then have these. And then cheap. if we still want to go with something a little louder bigger, and, yeah. a little bigger I and old, old. Yeah. I agree you with you, Karen. I think, yeah. I th I think something, something bigger would, would be appropriate. Mm -hmm. But these are easy. Now, let's these are let's easy. start off with let's this see. right now. And yeah. let's right. keep thinking see how about the, how next, goes. the yeah. next step. So then you're suggesting four of them? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're talking about a hundred dollars, basically. Right. Yeah. I mean, that's just mm -hmm. so very okay. cool. Yeah, but we can have. Would <laughs> <laughs> they be ready for the December open house? Uh, maybe. 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 Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I guess it depends on if we like some of the designs that are available. Four of them are ninety. I think it's also harder because this is really yeah. Yeah, this one would be not as long and skinny as, or it's not as it's hard to picture because it's all really squished. I feel like this would be would be a lot more space, right? Um, I think yeah, I. But the well, measurement make it work hard yeah. to, to picture. Yeah, we to make them. it work. But yeah. the idea, obviously, for this one would be, you know, for the south gate, leading people around to come in the front and do any event. Um, or it's, you know, and maybe we need a selection of these. This one leading people around and this one at the front here where people enter, or whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. But these are just some initial ideas that she put together so that y'all could feel out or get an idea for mm -hmm. what it would look like and see what you like. Or mm -hmm. I, don't know. I think the so blue is Me too. No. I agree. The blue is color. Really when I first looked at them, I thought the middle one was more classy. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it would stand out as well as the blue one. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it I could like be. Yeah, I think it's nice. fine. It could be a selection of two of these and this same thing, but with the come on in instead of the right. arrow, so that they're it's coming yeah. around and then yeah, it's, it's like, right here. It says come on in. Yeah. Are Are you saying that we can only choose one design? I mean, we can mix and mingle no. these designs and make one design, or, or are you saying that we can? Yeah, I'm saying we would have those, multiple of so sure each four be limited because it's leading okay. people around. Okay. 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 So, so maybe two of these, uh -huh. and then this, but with the come on in instead of the arrow for the front. Right. So, like, one, one two. This one, but blue. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, wait, they're different. Okay. Yeah. Well, I know what you mean. So two that say come on in public event for like this side, mm -hmm. and then two of the arrows for the third street side. Exactly. How do people come around? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this, we like the blue with the pink. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's, Let's go ahead. ahead. It could be yeah. that the cost is a little bit different if there are two different designs, just an FYI, but I can't imagine it's, it's it would be, well, not really, yeah, because two and two, so. Yeah. Yep. So, yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and then they just have a hanger that goes over the like cranial on top right. of the right. So nothing has to yeah. attach, which also is nice. That's really great. Yeah. So, what kind of hanger is like a, a cord mm -hmm. or something, a fabric cord? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's start with those, um, and then Rachel's designing something. It's the same, same thing, same setup for. Um, the engagement push marketing. So we're okay. gonna work on that. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. You might get for now. So okay. Well, okay. Are those all the random things that are in here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I cleaned it up as best as I could. It is old. Um, and then I have this stand. Oh, nice. That looks nice. This stand actually looks really good. Yeah. I don't know if that made it too tall for the uh, bookcase in there. That was my thought. Right. That it doesn't need to be hung upstairs. Right. That um, inside that bookcase is perfectly fine. So that's where I'd suggest that it. Okay. Works for me, I'll let you all go it's, it's that. An idea. Yes, I it would say it's a great idea because then it's safe and nobody will be touching it. And or if it's on the stand, then that they can't be knocked off. So I think that's an excellent yeah, choice. If it doesn't fit in there, well, then I'll get another stand that's lower. Yeah. So I'm it is a hobby lobby. Yeah. So I move that um, the location of the pack will be in the case if, okay. if possible. If it fits. Second. Okay. Second. Okay. 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 That was the first thing okay. on the board. That one was an item from staff. That's from staff, yeah. yeah. First yeah. Okay. The other one's from staff. This one's from staff. Thank you. Anybody else have anything else from the board? I do have one I know to share. And I think okay. some people may be aware of it. Um, yes, you are. I don't know if um, Brittany and Kristen, if you are aware of it, but the um, History Colorado featured the Callahan House 
in their uh, weekly newsletter um, in, during the week of October 23rd. And, and it was as an example of the use of history Colorado's funds for preservation. Um, and so, you know, put that in the scrapbook, but yeah, it's really quite neat. But they, yeah, they featured the Callahan books in their newsletter. So, Yes. Oh, in their newsletter. Yes, it's an e-newsletter. Oh, okay. it's a weekly e-newsletter. So I thought that was uh, That's a really nice cool. nod. Yeah. And um, I love to call that. Well, Connie knew that. Oh, she would. She would. And so she, which was great. And so, yeah. yeah. So it's right. great that cool. they featured. Yeah, it's wonderful. Did you replace you? I didn't serve with her, but I've met her a couple of times. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she was at. Was it Club Affair or Art Walk? Club Affair. Yeah. Club Affair. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do we need to discuss the future agenda items there? Uh, I, I think. I think. I think the only thing that we discuss is the fact that the club survey responses and the 2024 programs revenue report will be moved to the new business of next month's agenda of uh, December. Oh, yeah, December. And that's that's it. And if there are any other future agenda items that are before the end of this year, we might want to say, hey, we've got to include that in okay. December's agenda. Okay. Anything else, anybody? Is there a last chance? Yeah. Okay, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. It's Ten. Candy, motion yes. to adjourn. Yeah. And at 10.48. And I'll mm -hmm. second that. Okay. Thank you, too, for motioning and Thank <laughs> you. very appreciative work.